Hey everybody, this is Mass GUI, and as I said in my last video, I was going to go in this direction first. And so I shall. Until this branches out into some other place like it just has. See, you go up here and. Oh, right, that's a little hole. But then if you look up and you see that this is just one big deep hole. <laughs> and now I can go up there. I don't know why I laugh like that. I can go up there if I want, or else I can progress through here, which takes me just around in circles. Okay, I'll light up, light up this area. So I can go into this passageway first, and hopefully it's a dead end. Success! Nothing! So I can take that. If I had lots of wood, I'd make like a few signs and signpost places. Now I'm going to go down this way. You see, one of the reasons I keep on going down before I go up is, you know, obviously because I'm trying to get out of here. Trying to get out of here. Plus, if I, you know, go down, then I'll probably be more likely to find, you know, like a diamond or even just more redstone, to be honest, I'll be happy with. Now I will... Whoa! I haven't been over here before. She... Huh. I'm all distracted now and like, you know, trying to dig through this and I'm just slapping the rock with a piece of pork. That is that sounds like a euphemism. Um so down. That's an interesting direction. I'm gonna go in here. Just to see what's down this wall. Ooh. Wow. Interesting hiding place. Well, how is that spider floating? You know what this calls for? Bone arrow. Oops. Shoot the ground and pick it up again. There we go. That's what bone arrows are made for. One of the first times I've ever actually used a bow and arrow successfully too. So I hope you all appreciate that. Um Right, this is like a just a big old waterfall, isn't it? Is there actually anything in there? I know uh, I know it's not really it doesn't really show. Hmm. While I'm doing this, oh weird. Everything looks weird when you're looking at it through water. Ooh, while I'm doing this, I'll talk to you about something. I was, like, going to do a kind of a Halloween special thingy for Halloween. You know, like, with on Minecraft, but, you know, obviously I was busy on Halloween, but, you know, I was going to, like, dress up as someone for, like, just have my Minecraft character dress up, and it'll be, like, all fun and stuff. But then, sadly, I m realized something like that, because of, like, you know, ever since the incident, I suppose I have a few new people now, so if anyone hasn't watched them... Um, any of my, some of my videos where I explain that. Basically, the incident is when I lost everything that was on my hard drive. Oops, I lost a bit of gold. And I also lost a little PNG file or whatever that my masked guy skin in Minecraft. Oh yeah. Just for the record, I'm actually... I made a masked guy skin. I know it's not great, but you know. It'll do. You know, with with pixel art, you know, you're kind of limited anyway. But yeah, I lost the PNG file, so basically if I change the skin off the masked GUI one, then if I wanted to change it back, as far as I know, I might be wrong, but as far as I know, I would have to basically remake this skin, which, to be honest, I don't fancy doing. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized, you see all this water here? This has nothing to do with, like, you know, a big huge waterfall. No, 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 I just realized, this is the ocean. I, as far as I can tell, it's night time at the moment, and that's, the reason that is so dark up there and confusing and all that sand is there is because I am very, very far underneath the ocean, which is perfect because that's just like a total... Obsidian farm right there. But before I go down there into the obsidian farm, I'm going to check this place out. 
I probably won't find much, but yes, I'll take a look anyway. And I know back there there was like a few more like forks in that passageway that I could take, but I think ravines are generally more exciting. Bloop. It's weird sometimes, like, my character just seems to hop when he steps out of the water. I don't understand why. Another good thing about this is that nothing can survive under wa under the water either. Everything just gets totally drowned. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Get back. I have to stop switching to the bone. Get off. Right, okay, that was... One of those things that just happens to me, really. I say something, and then it just instantly gets proven wrong. You know, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not complaining. It's, it, it all just adds to, you know, the entertainment. Well, okay, this place seems to have a better view of what's going on anyway. I doubt there'll be anything down there. So I think I should really be just looking unlike the very bottom of this ravine but at least it has an escape escape route light like sorry my words at least it has an escape route hmm. some drowned spiders or something I believe I heard like moaning so you know like a zombie or a creeper or something or not a creeper an enderman or something but you know I'm actually going to try and stand somewhere where we're not being floated away by the water. And, um, dig up some of this obsidian. And, you know, well, you know how long obsidian takes. Right, okay, that obsidian just got burnt up. I'll see if there's anywhere that won't instantly get burnt up if I put it there. I'll try here. Even though it's probably not going to work either. You see, I could try and dig it underwater, but A, I'd drown, and B, it would go twice as slowly as it usually does. The only reason, really, I would... You know, this is just going to keep on burning up. And the only reason I'd want obsidian is to go to the nether. And, to be honest, until 1.9 comes out, I have no, you know, strong requirement because I don't, I never use the one, uh, Minecraft 1.9 pre-releases. It's something to do with principle, and also, it just doesn't work for me. I like, inst I apply it, and I ap apply the folder, and it, I know what I'm doing, like, it's, I'm, I'm doing all the steps right. Ooh. I'm not doing anything wrong, but it just never seems, to, it just doesn't seem to work. It just freezes for me and gives me an error log. But I know it's but you know, then I just reapply the 1.8 and go back to playing it as usual. Let's see what's up here. Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. I'm cool with that. Plenty of iron. I know that, but you know. Iron, schmiron. I'm looking for like gold and diamond. Which I ain't seeing none of. However, I am willing to look a little bit. Woo! So I'll check around behind this little lava hole. In the hope that I will find something nice. Except in the possibility that I won't. Okay, I think I've looked enough now. I think it's time to try and climb up this water and see if it'll actually take me to freedom. Yeah, hold on, look, it's getting brighter out there. Which just proves my point. I'll try and back up a bit. There we go, I'll catch my breath. And now try and get out of this um, sinkhole that's pulling me down. And quickly surface. Ooh, okay, that's a creeper. Whoa, this is where I am? Yeah, I see the lava down there. 
I mean, if I'm to guess anything, I will say that that is the same NPC village that I found before. Burning Enderman in the distance. Kill some animals. Grab their... Grab their meat. If they drop any, that is. And avoid the creepers while doing so. Whoa. Never mind. Get away! Whoa! That was so lucky because I kept on trying to jump away from him, but that stupid just ledge got in my way. But neither my armor nor my health seem to have taken any damage there. I think I might have like taken. Why is there a cow in there? Why is there cows on the roof? I did get a comment about crazy cows on a roof on one of my videos, but it's funny that they're still there. Yeah, it's definitely the same village because of that little nook. Die, piggy! Yeah. Cute little animals. I just like how this is also very much a farming town. Huh. Bookshelves. No, I won't bother taking the bookshelves. Oop. Serious frame drop there. I'm gonna take all the sugar and set up a ha uh, farm back at home. Oh, wait. No, I can't. So, you know what? In that case, I'm just gonna go around here and, you know, once I find this little building with a hole missing, I think I just keep on walking in this direction. And I'm going to end this video when I get back to my house. Because, I mean, you know, it's it's been a long... Okay, screw it, I'm not going to chase any more animals. <laughs> it's too much effort. It's been a long, long, long adventure. It's been a seriously long wait, you know, for the next installment. Which I apologize for. Between the huge gap between part 7 and part 8. I have to stop breaking that cane if I'm not going to be picking it up. Can anything I put down? Dirt. The cane is more important. Um. But yeah, it's been such a long wait between part 7 and part 8. You know, because I just didn't get around to it and stuff. I'm trying to continue my life. Outside of Minecraft world and YouTube. But I I dug myself into a huge hole in the ground. I, don't, I can't even remember where it is now, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm back. I went through all of that hell. And I've come back stronger than ever. At least I didn't die and lose everything down there. Because you would have heard me rage. That happened to me earlier on, when I was on the server, I went through like a big huge mining expedition, got loads of diamonds and redstone and tin and copper and uranium and everything. And like, railroads, because I found an abandoned mine. And, I died. I was like thinking, okay I'll use the slash home command now. And I didn't. And then I accidentally dug a hole, there's lava underneath, I fell in. I didn't even dig directly underneath me, I just kind of thoughtlessly stepped into it. And it was gone. I was gone, everything was gone, and I was like... Rage. So yeah, my lovely little m big... My lovely little big mushroom is still outside my... W outside my house. Looking big and pretty as ever. Pop down his chest and convert into a double. Boop. Dump all of this in here. I shall keep the furnaces. In fact, I'll also keep the ores. And dump everything else in. Actually, I'll k keep the coal as well. Dump everything else in. Bone 
guns and torches and everything. Oh, I was killing animals and I saw all the food. I was like, yeah, great, I'm going to get that food. And now that I think of it, I didn't even pick them up. Oh, wait, I've got 15 steaks in this oven. Really? How, how? I don't... When did I forget this? When did I forget that? That's that's pretty cool. I'll throw on another oven here. Drop in this huge bit of coal and throw in this iron. And now I shall leave this smelting while I end this video. So, yeah, for watching this and for watching everything else, thank you. And I will catch you all again next time where I will try and make a whole new adventure after that little cave thing. I'll go in a different direction this time. Stay tuned for that, everybody. See ya.